Hi everybody and welcome to Cupcakes Litter who are six weeks old and I've just revamped their playpen so they've got some new furniture oopsie slightly bigger furniture which they're learning how to use and climb Cupcakes gone in there to investigate and this is the last time that I'll revamp because they will have the whole room probably in a few days maybe another four days they've done an amazing job learning how to use the litter trays initially very messy but in the last few days it's been really good now I've left this one with some sawdust in it and clean the other one so we'll see how they go making sure their food's all right. So this is the biggest cat tree they've had before, so it's probably not gonna take them too long to realize they can hop on the top and then get out. But right now it's more just um, how not to fall off. And they're big enough, it's not that much of a, a drop. So I'll introduce each kitten. If you've seen our previous video on this litter, you might remember some of them. And I'll link that if you haven't seen it. But they've grown so much since the last video. So you remember they, there's two kittens in here that have white tail tips. And we've got one boy here, Phoenix. And our other white tail tip is here. Blue tabby bicolor girl. She doesn't have a name yet, but hopefully when she has a new owner, they'll give her a cool name. It's funny, she used to be the one that sort of hung back. She wasn't very, it took her a while to come out of her shell. She wasn't super confident, but now she's probably the sassiest of the bunch. Always up for something new. Are you gonna look at this? So blue tabby by colour girl there with the white tail tip. And we have, let's see, blue tabby by colour boy. I'll put up on the screen which one. There's two of them. And the other one think is here who's got the mouse he's got a slightly wider mask he likes to walk through his food so he's looking a little bit like he's got food all down his front here you are you can have your mouse and I think this is our blue bicolor girl here you are one get you here she is they're all very interested in playing so at six weeks old these guys are able to eat their own food they eat dry and wet I feed them wet food morning and night which they're usually meowing for and they still do drink milk from cupcake just pan over to her Gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, they're definitely on the solids now. And sometimes it can take a little while for kitten tummies to get used to solid food. And if you're wondering what we feed, we start kittens off with Royal Cannon Mother and Baby Cat Moose mixed with a bit of boiling water. And we've just got Royal Cannon Kitten Dry in the bowl. And... They just eat that as they please. That's out all the time. Oh, did you use the tray? Very clever. Oh, wow. Very healthy poo. We won't zoom on all that, but 
Us breeders always like seeing healthy kitten poos in the right spot. It's actually amazing how quickly they learn where to go because there's a lot of spots in here where they could just, you know, tuck away and go there, but they learn really quickly. And as soon as they're, they've all learned, they're all using the tray, they can have the entire room. Now I'd have to, this room's still set up from Tiny's litter. So when they do graduate, I'll, I'll revamp this room. I'd probably take some of the bigger things out, make it a bit more safe for little. Oh, I've well, got another one. Oh, very proud of you guys. Yeah, make it a little bit more safe for little kittens that tend to climb up high and not quite know how to get down. But yes, we, we had a few comments about uh, people thought this was a bit cramped. It, it is a little bit, but with young kittens, when you're litter training them, they don't really go looking for the litter trays. So you have to have them quite close by. So they just see them and they go, they don't have to think about it too much. Almost like um, training babe, uh, toddlers to use the toilet. So they won't be in here for much longer. And as you can see, they can run around. They do have furniture, cupcakes able to jump in and out. It's really just for a couple of weeks while they're learning. So if you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave a comment below. We actually have quite a few more subscribers since I first started posting about this litter. So please feel welcome. There's no silly questions at all. There's a lot of channels I follow where I don't really know a lot about what the people are doing. And that's really cool to almost live through them. I follow a lot of horse channels. I'm not in a position to own a horse, but it's really cool. So that's sort of why I make these videos. You know, not everyone's in a position to be a breeder. And in some countries, it's probably not really advised to be breeding cats. But yeah, if there's any, any questions at all, maybe about the ragdoll breed, feel welcome to drop a comment below. And if you have made it this, f this far, uh, subscribing would help us a lot. It doesn't cost anything. And it just helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Oh, brave kitten made it to the top. Yeah, wait for it. They're going to, they want to get to me. No? Yeah. So they'll zoom about and then they'll go into their cave and have a snooze. Hello. You're very sassy. You used to be so shy. Look at that tail going. Oh, if you're wondering about the white tip on the tails, we think it's a genetic thing because I only have it in one bloodline. Um, Cupcake's dad, Usher, often has kittens with it or grandkittens with it. And it it's considered a mismark, like you can't show cats with white tail tips, but it's extremely cute. And one of the founding sires of this breed actually had a white tail tip. So it's quite cool to see almost a throwback to it. Oops. So I'll leave the commentary there. I'll do a bit of cute kitten filming. Um, again, please feel welcome to comment below if you'd like to see anything specific to a cupcake. And if you've watched the video on Gambit's litter, I'll have another update, update out on them very soon. So Cupcake has the five kittens, Gambit has the six, and we have a another mum due this month as well. So I'll follow her progress too.